Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're checking out another VR accessory for any VR headset or any audio device that has Bluetooth capabilities. These are the Vega T1 Low Latency Wireless Earbuds for VR Gaming by Prism XR. These ones retail for $70 US on their website. I will link that below and I'll also put in the description below a discount code that you can use if you purchase them from their website. It's valid until January 15th of 2024. If you're watching this afterwards and you're interested in a discount code, Message me and I'll see what I can do for you. In this video, I'm going to unbox it, I'll show you how to use them, and I'll give you my review of them here in the end. Let's jump into this one. Alright, here's the box that came with it. You can see all the information there. I'm not going to read through all that because I'm going to be talking about it all later. I just want to open this one up. And let's see what we got here. Immersive sound meets ultra-fast performance. I mean, and that's what we want with the VR um, earbuds, right? We want them, we don't want any lag between um, the sound and what we are seeing on the screen. Great presentation here already. Um, so we have the earbuds themselves. We have the different um, ear cover sizes. We have the adapter that will plug into the headset, it looks like there. Got a business card, which is always nice. Their quick start guide. And we got, ooh, that's a nice solid. I'm assuming this is a case. We shall see when we open it up. Then we got our charging cable. And we got a USB um, A to a USB C adapter there. All right, that is what's in the box open this up. There we go. There's a nice case there. It's obviously a charging case. Um, it's very solid actually, especially for its size. Um, that's That's got some good weight to it for its size. I'm just going to give this quick start guide a quick read and then I'll kind of go over the important parts for you. So here we have, as they like to call it, the dongle. This end here goes into your headset this way. And then here is a little USB-C outlet so you can still charge your headset while this is plugged in, which is actually a nice little feature there. Now this dongle can actually go into the case right at the bottom here. I don't believe it does any charging or anything, but it's it's there. It has a spot for it in the case, which is really nice. And we have our two actual earbuds here. They're looking nice, feeling nice and solid. It has the medium-sized um, earpieces on them already. And it says for the first time using it, place them into the charging dock there, just to, just to make sure that they're charged up and that they're good, good to go. So I'm gonna place them in there and let them charge. You can see they got the blue light going there, which means it is charging. And I'm um, just gonna bring in my Quest 3 here in just a moment and I'll show you how to pair it and give you uh, more of a review and go from there. Okay, I've had a chance to use these. I wanted to give you my review of it and give you some tips as well. In terms of charge, they last about six hours on a charge which is really nice and then the case itself can charge that about four times so you're looking at about 24 hours worth of charge and i found that that actually holds true they lasted a really long time i was really impressed with the battery life of these of these earbuds um, the case itself nice and easy to easy to use these magnetically fit in so you're not uh, going to be losing them there and you can see the little blue light once i plug that in there showing that it's um, charging and it's actually looking for pairing right now as well. If you're wanting to reset these for any reason there's a button on the side here you can just hold that button on the side for about 10 seconds this light will flash red three times then it'll turn back to blue looking as if it's pairing again that's when you know it's been reset. Uh, this comes with a little dongle here and this fits in the case there as well we're going to use this when we are pairing it to our Quest 3 and I'll show you how to use that. One thing that I do like about these is that it has an app that you can 
download onto your phone and you can connect to these. That allows you to update them if there's any new updates that come out. I haven't seen too many earbuds that have you know firmware updates available to them, so I think that's a big plus. They're, they're trying to keep them up to date and, and doing the best that they can. It also allows you to change some of the um, equalizer levels as well and um, customize it to your own personal listening uh, preferences, which is really nice. I really do like that feature. Uh, Prism XR has some other gadgets as well that you that you can connect to that same app, and so it is a multi-use app that you can get get for your phone. Um, I will show you a little bit of that app actually right now. Let's go through a little bit, and then we'll come back here. <clears throat> so once you've downloaded the app, then you can just start it up. This is the home screen that you'll see. Make sure that your earbuds are on and trying to connect. You can hit Add Device select the one that you want it says they're found we're going to add these here and you can already see there it shows the battery life of each and that they're connected via bluetooth and not the dongle there you can click on it just press them there you can see the equalizers it's just set on default there's vega blast which is enabling super volume it says it may reduce the sound quality i'm going to cancel that or you can go to custom and you can play around with it on your own i don't know too much about this myself so i'm not going to worry about that i'm going to go back to just default when you even click on default they have the different options there that you can choose as well which is really nice you can also go to controls and you can change the different controls left and right of what you want them to do and it shows you with that purple icon there what where that's going to be where you press so there's single tap double tap hold for two seconds and different options there as well right now i have them disabled i still need to decide what i want them to do one last thing that you can do is you, if you hit the settings button in the top right that gear then you can see the firmware that is installed if you click on firmware it's telling me that the current firmware is the latest and this is where any updates that you might need to download or put onto them will come and then there's some frequently asked questions, the user manual, which you don't have to keep the paper one, which is nice, and feedback there as well. So the really nice app to come along with this. I feel like this allows you to customize them a little bit more and just have more control over your earbuds themselves, which is really nice. Let's get back to reviewing. A big question is always, are the earbuds comfortable? And yes, these ones are super comfortable. Honestly, they're some of the most comfortable earbuds that I've used. I've tried AirPods, um, Beats, Bose, a bunch of different types of big name brands, and these beat them all in terms of how comfortable they are, in my opinion. I like the shape of them, I like the weight of them, and then I like that it comes with the different um, size of ear tips, so you can fit it to your ears perfectly as well. So comfortability, top notch. Their customer service is also top notch. I was having some issues connecting to the Quest 3 to get it have to have zero latency. I was able to talk to a couple of representatives and they were very helpful, very supportive, and they were able to help me figure it out. This is what you want in a company is someone that is responsive and willing to help you solve your problems and giving you the best experience that you can. All right, so in terms of connecting this, if you want to just connect it to like your laptop, your cell phone, any regular device, you can simply just open it up and that blue flashing light, once you pull one of them out here or even just leave it in, that's going to show you that it is pairing. It'll show up as your discoverable devices and you can select it there. When I was using it with my laptop, my phone, I found there was no issues. The sound quality was great. Um, I've really enjoyed using them on that. Um, when I've connected it to my Quest 3, I'm going to show you a different way to connect it. And this is going to ensure that you don't have any latency issues, any lag issues with um, your audio. So you're not going to connect it via Bluetooth. Uh, if you go onto the Bluetooth menu, on your quest you go to add a device you're doing the wrong thing so what you need to do here and this is where this dongle is going to come into play we're going to take this out here so you can see we got a flashing blue light it's looking to look into pair here we're going to plug this in right here you can see that we've got a blue light and it's flashing on the side right here. that means it's searching for the earbuds. As soon as I take these earbuds out, okay, I've got the earbuds out. That light has now stopped flashing. I don't know if you can see it from there because it is pretty small, but that light has stopped flashing. That means these are now connected to the dongle to the Quest 3. Not via Bluetooth, but via this. You don't need to do anything with the Bluetooth settings on your Quest 3. Once you have them connected like this, you're good to go. That's all you have to do, and there's not going to be any latency issues at all. I was really impressed um, with with how fast they were, right? Because um, at first, I honestly, I did connect them via Bluetooth, 
and there was latency issues. I was playing some Beat Saber, and the music and the notes, were the, uh, the squares were not lining up. And I was getting a little bit worried that these were going to be like many of the other earbuds that I've seen people review, that they have latency issues, right? Wireless earbuds, there's been a tough time with them. But once I connected them this way, Expert Plus songs on Beat Saber, just as if I was using the speakers in terms of latency, right? Perfectly on beat. The sound was perfect there. I was really impressed. I am really impressed still um, with how good they are. And then you can see here it has a little piece where you can still connect a battery head strap if you're interested. And then that'll still allow you to charge your headset. You can see the green light just came on there. Things are just coming on here again because I plugged that in. And so you're able to charge while you play. It doesn't take that up at all. You're also able to use the mic on these while you're playing as well, which is kind of nice. And then these are noise cancelling um, earbuds here. And so when you're playing, especially with VR and using these, it really immerses you in the experience because all the other noises around you are cancelled out. Um, sound quality as well, very good. Um, really deep sounds, really, I just really enjoyed um, using these in terms of playing uh, games with music, playing games with nice atmospheric ambience uh, type sounds. Very good sound. Uh, the speakers for the Quest 3 are better than the Quest 2, and I have enjoyed the speakers on here, uh, but these just bring it up a little bit more of a notch there as well. So price point, we're looking at $70 um, US. So that would be, for me, I'm Canadian, it's closer to $100 Canadian, but for wireless earbuds um, that have zero latency issues with the Quest 3, and then they can be used other places as well. If you're looking for AirPods or things, those cost way more than these, right? But in my opinion, the sound quality is just as good. Latency is zero. Uh, the battery time is great, easy to connect, and they're a great product. So I would definitely recommend these if you're looking for more of an exper immersive experience with some wireless um, earbuds. If you haven't uh, checked out my other VR accessory reviews, I have some other ones from Prism XR. I have their uh, VR motion sickness one you can check out as well. I'll link that below. Uh, I'll link where you can purchase these ones. I'll give you the discount code as well in the description below. You can get a little bit of a discount on these from their website. Thank you for watching this one. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have trouble setting anything up, I can definitely try to help you out with that. We'll see you next time here on Brian Sloan Artist.